Anybody who knows their law fishing has heard of the Fox Rage replicant. It is a legendary law. It's caught numerous fish across the world, big pike, big xander, whatever, whatever people fish for with replicants, they catch because they work so well. Well, now we've evolved. We've evolved the replicant to another stage, uh, and that is the Fox Rage replicant realistic trout. It is based on one of the best prey fish that you can think of, especially for pike and even xander, the trout. You just look at that shape. That looks superb. So the new realistic replicant trout has got specific detailing. That silhouette gives it that perfect trout prey pattern. It's got all the fins in place in silhouette as well, with the, the big tail, you've got the top fin. So underwater, a pike sees this, they're gonna know exactly what it is. They're gonna remember that a trout tastes really good, it's high in protein, it gives them what they need to get through the winter months, and they're gonna nail this. Most importantly, as well as the shape of this brilliant new replicant, it's got the same swimming action as the standard replicant wobble. So you've got that big, big paddle tail that just beats along. Under the water, that smacks around, sending out sound waves all over the place, all the vibrations, bringing the pike in to hit this, this lure. So just like the original replicant wobble, you've got all that attraction going in to this package. Obviously, with this being a, a trout replicant with that perfect silhouette and, and look at the, the lure, if you fish a trout water, where, where pike will obviously predate heavily on trout, this is the lure for you. You know, put this through, you see that in silhouette, see the detailing on it, they're gonna snap that up. So with the action of the original wobble, it's also got the belly hook rotation system. So you've got a little swivel that goes into the main body of the lure, and the main superstructure of the lure underneath. And what that does is when you hook up on a pike with these high-end hooks, which are super, sticky sharp. You don't want to get your finger on those, it goes all the way in. They are very, very sharp straight out of the packet. When a pike is hooked on one of these, what it will try and do is use the lure to lever the, the hook hold out of its mouth. But with these, because you've got the swivel, it can't do that. It can't turn the lure over and use it to lever out because it will just keep turning. As with the standard replicant wobble, you've got the top hook. Now, I know a lot of people take these off and they don't like them for whatever reason, but they do still work. Sometimes, well a lot of the time in fact, you'll find fish are hooked on that and the treble or just hooked on the top hook when the, uh, the bottom treble has failed to find a hooking point in the mouth. So, you know, it, it can make a difference. Also with that extra weight at the top, it does give that extra movement to the, to the lure because it raises the centre of gravity, gives it that extra action. This replicant trout comes in three different colours. This is the Atlantic char, there's the rainbow trout, and there's the tiger trout as well. Each one has that supernatural finish, so that's taken from a scan of a real fish, so it's absolutely perfect. You know, visually, this is as close as it comes to a real fish in terms of the pattern. And with those, those extra detailings and the silhouette, you know, this is gonna fool a lot of fish out there. Like the original replicant wobble, this thing comes in four different sizes. So you've got the smallest being 10 centimetres up to 23 centimetres, you know, for the really, really big pike. 10 centimetres is great for perch and Xander as well as small pike. And then 14 and 18 in between. So you've got four good steps of uh, size changes there. Another great point with the, the new trout replicants, as well as the other range, the original range that we do, is the, the body material. It's made from super resistant body material, so when it gets bitten, it will form back. It won't heal up, obviously, but it will form back. So unlike some other soft plastics and the original replicants that were made of a different kind of plastic, when they're eaten, they would kind of like chunk up and fall apart. These don't. It takes a lot, lot of uh, pike strikes to, to make these things disintegrate. So that's another great aspect of the lure. They are a superb looking piece of kit, and they will catch you a lot of fish. They're now in stock. So all you've got to do is get down to the shop, buy some yourself, clip them on and give them a cast. See how you get on. I will guarantee that they will catch you fish. If the fish are feeding and this is in front of them, they will hit them. Best of luck with them. If you like the trout replicant, you're going to love this. This is the new realistic perch replicant. Just check that out. Now as any lure angler knows, any predator angler knows, perch are on the menu for for their own species and pike and xander and anything else that'll swim along and, and eat them. They're resident in most waters, especially around the UK, but all 
Europe as well, and in good numbers. And for the size that they are, they are a regular preyed upon species. So what we've done with this, another evolution of the, the standard replicant wobble, we've turned it into a perch. Now the profile, as you can see, is perfect for, for matching a perch. You've got that high, high body with the humped back there and the fins. In silhouette again, that looks like a perch to me and that is going to look like a perch to any, any predator that comes along. Again, as with the trout, this is a replicant wobble. So you've got the big paddle tail for that same vibration, that same attraction that the original wobble gives out, but with that silhouette. You've got the detailing as well. Again, the supernatural finish on the side, so it's available in three different colours. You've got the wounded perch like this with the three scars down its side. Looks like it's been hit by a fish. And that might give you the edge in terms of uh, visual cues that this is a fish to hit by a predator. There's the standard perch colour and then there's the hot perch colour, which is a slightly greener, slightly more yellowy greener colour. So, you know, that might come in, into play when you, you're fishing mainly murkier waters or something where you need something a little bit more visual to stand out. As with the trout, you've got that belly hook rotation system again to help hook holds when you've, you've hooked a fish. You've got the top hook. This one's at a more of aggressive angle based on the body shape of the, of the perch. So I would say you're going to get more hookups with the top hook on this lure just because of that really aggressive angle. If you look at that based on where the hook eye is, that's going to penetrate really, really well on the strike. The perch replicant is available in three different sizes. It doesn't go as big as the trout, it doesn't go up to the big 23, but you've got a 10 centimetre size. That's going to be perfect for perch, who are really, really cannibalistic. So 10 centimetres, 14 centimetres, and then 18 centimetres in size again. So you've got step changes in terms of the size of this law to suit the waters and the size of fish that you're targeting. It looks superb. It swims really, really well in the water. It looks gorgeous underwater. It's got a real lazy roll to it because of that high body with a good paddle tail going on as well. And that will definitely catch fish. There's, there's no two ways about it. If you think of a water with, with small perching, you know, this is a, a wasp sized perch you catch down the canal. If a pike saw that and was in the mood, wow, bang, it's on. And these super sharp high end hooks which just, just touching then, just stick to your finger with the, the sharp point. They're in, you're on, you've got a fish on the bank. Happy hunting with these guys. Get them in your, in your lure box, get them on the end of your line and enjoy the fun.